Ladies and gentlemen, the following four-way mayhem match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, he is the race of the top winner, the world's most wonderful man, Kevin Wonderman. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Maximum Attitude Edition of DZW Exclusive. I'm your commentator, as always, Antoine Princeton, and coming to the ring is Kevin Wonderman, a man who has been on quite the roll as of late. Of course, winning the Race to the Top ladder match and most recently defeating Dean James on the last edition of Attitude. He's looking for another win tonight, but he has a tough test ahead of him as he's facing not one, not two, but three competitors at the same time. Brandon, Kevin Wonderman is no stranger to winning multi-man matches, but will he win here tonight on DZW Exclusive? Let's find out. The next participant, representing the Young Bloods, Adrian Dawkins. And of course, the fun-loving, high-energy, dancing Adrian Dawkins. Most recently seen on the exclusive edition of Call Stars losing to Sean Walsh and Steven Syntax in tag action. But tonight, Adrian Dawkins comes out alone without Jason Cross for a big chance to make a statement. Adrian Dawkins, one of two tag team competitors in this matchup, the other being Liam North. Adrian Dawkins has been dancing since he got to the entrance ramp, but trust me, when it comes to the in-ring action, Adrian Dawkins is 100% all business. As Kevin Wonderman exits the ring, Adrian Dawkins playing to the crowd, the showman of the Young Bloods. Can he pick up a huge singles victory here tonight? Representing the Fight Hard Syndicate, Liam North. And here comes Liam North of the Fight Hard Syndicate. That, Liam North, last time I think we saw him was when he lost to Kobe Vincent in a hard-fought match on Attitude. But it was that pure strength of Kobe Vincent that won the match for the problem. Kobe Vincent, of course, will main event maximum attitude against AJ Young, putting his number one contendership for the DCW Championship on the line. The winner will face Travis Killings at Revive. Right now we have four-way mayhem action. Three of the competitors are out here right now, but there's one more participant in this match making his DZW debut. And the final participant making his Danger Zone Wrestling debut, Alistair. Up here. And good lord, ladies and gentlemen, this guy is massive. Nothing is really known about Alistair Amir besides the fact that he is a former bodyguard looking to fight, looking to hurt, and he came to the right place. Alistair Amir has the opportunity to make a major impact if he could beat three of DZW's rising stars in one match. As he slowly makes his way into the ring, and Adrian Dawkins, Liam North, and Kevin Wonderman might get a little bit more than they bargained for. And ladies and gentlemen, oh, I might have spoken too soon, but these four men sizing each other up Adrian Dawkins, Kevin Wonderman, Leah North, and Alistair Amir. Okay, now I can say it. This match is underway. Alistair Amir going right for Adrian Dawkins. Liam North going right for Kevin Wonderman with a German suplex. Again, with this being a multi-man match, this may be a little difficult to call. But Alistair Amir kicking Liam North right in the face. And Dawkins sending Amir to the outside. Kevin Wonderman handling business with Liam North in the ring. Now North has Amir by the arm, excuse me, has Wonderman by the arm and now kicking him. 
as Alcir Amir is punching the holy hell out of Adrian Dawkins on the outside and following up with a clothesline. Now Amir getting back in the ring, joining Liam North and Kevin Wonderman as North hits a wonderful suplex. And Amir stopping Adrian Dawkins dead in his tracks with a big boot. North going right back after the arm of Kevin Wonderman as Dawkins has Amir on the ropes. Amir with a nasty right elbow. And now Dawkins is on the ropes and Kevin Wonderman sends Dawkins to the outside. Amir thinking belly to back suplex. Wonderman reverses and hits a jumping heel kick. Wonderman has the advantage on the big man. Adrian Dawkins is going for a drop kick. Hits it twice and misses. And now going for it one more time on Kevin Wonderman connecting and only stunning him momentarily. And Liam North, another German suplex. The ring clears Wonderman in the mirror on the outside. Adrian Dawkins with the suplex face buster to Liam North. Dawkins thinking springboard and picture perfect moonsault to Liam North. Dawkins and North, no strangers to each other. The Young Bloods and the Fire Hearts Syndicate have battled a couple times in DCW history. As Amir has Wonderman by the hair and just knocks him down with a clubbing blow. And Amir grabbing Wonderman and just tossing him to the ground. Wonderman is in deep trouble against Alistair Amir as Liam North and Adrian Dawkins battle up the ramp. Wonderman in deep trouble and Amir with the big boot. And now Alistair Amir going for the pin. Will he pin the race to the top winner? And no. Liam North making a beeline for the ring, sensing that the match was in jeopardy. And North just hit Amir with the half Nelson suplex. And now Dawkins back to the ring. North going to the top rope and eating a big right hand from Dawkins and out goes North. Amir hitting Kevin Wonderman with a jawbreaker and the world's most wonderful man sending Amir to the outside. Wonderman using the big man's momentum against him. And what's Kevin Wonderman going to do now? Now Amir grabbing Kevin Wonderman and sending him right into the barricade, but Wonderman managed to stop right before connecting. And there's Amir with the backbreaker. As Liam North bridging German, wait, oh. Went for a German suplex. Dragon suplex. And Liam North isn't done. And there's the bridging German. Going for the cover and Amir breaking that up immediately. It looked like North had that match won with an impressive suplex combination. And Amir ramming his shoulder into Liam North and Kevin Wonderman with a frog splash right onto Adrian Dawkins' back. North seeking refuge on the outside. And Alistair Amir, oh no. Torture rack backbreaker to Adrian Dawkins and it's back to Amir and Wonderman. And you have to wonder how much more punishment, good God. How much more punishment can Kevin Wonderman take? I believe Kevin Wonderman is busted wide open. Amir, oh, going for that running boot again. Wonderman stopped it and oh, he couldn't stop it that time. And Liam North has Amir by the leg. Liam North is going for the submission. He has him in a leg lock. Will Alistair Amir tap out in his DZW debut? Wonderman tosses Dawkins to the outside. And wait, what, this is the smart of the part of Wonderman as Liam North is just wrenching back on that leg. And Wonderman doesn't even realize it. But luckily for the other participants, Amir managing to find his way out. But how much damage has been done to that leg? Now what's Dawkins going for? Oh, submission of his own. Dawkins has Kevin Wonderman in the single leg boss and crab. And on the outside, there's no ropes to grab. Liam North going for the pin on Amir. 
And Amir kicking out at two. And it seems that going after the legs has been a strategy used by Adrian Dawkins and Liam North in this match. As Liam North neutralizing the big man on the inside. Dawkins fighting with Kevin Wonderman. And Liam North going high risk, not paying off too well. And now Amir with the neck breaker. Uh-oh. Big man on the middle rope. Big man alert. And there's a senton from the middle rope. And going for the cover on Liam North. One, two, and Liam North kicking out before Dawkins even had the chance to break it up. Amir lifting Dawkins up and down falling power slam. That might do it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Amir going for the pin. Wonderman and North breaking it up. Looks like he caught Wonderman in the process. And North going after Amir. Amir responding with some strikes. But Amir taking a knee. You can see that he's been worn down over the course of this match. But Amir is still fighting to his credit. Uh-oh. Out goes North. Oh, what's Amir going to do? Picking North in the gut. Oh, this doesn't look good for North. This doesn't look good for North, and oh my goodness. Liam North powerbomb back first onto the ring apron. And North might be out cold, ladies and gentlemen. And now Wonderman trying to pick the bones. Trying to take advantage of that powerbomb, and North sends Wonderman face first into the post. And I believe, oh yeah, Wonderman is busted wide open. As Amir and Dawkins are fighting in the ring. And Amir going for that fall power slam again. And he connects again. Amir going for the pin. And Adrian Dawkins' legs were under the ropes. That's been frustrating for Alistair Amir. But that was a good call by the referee. Al Adrian Dawkins was clearly under the ropes. Dawkins getting sent to the outside by Amir. And North targeting the legs of Kevin Wonderman once again. And Amir with yet another neck breaker. As North slides to the outside and is back to Amir and Wonderman. Amir looking to capitalize on the damage done by Liam North. But Wonderman, he has Amir by the arm, has him trapped, and planting Alistair Amir right on his neck. Going for the cover on Amir, two, and Kevin Wonderman keeps the string of victories continuing. Your winner of this bout, by way of pitfall, Kevin Wonderman. Ladies and gentlemen, this was quite a match. Not to take anything away from the efforts by Alistair Amir, Liam North, or Adrian Dawkins, but Kevin Wonderman walked away with the victory and pinning the big man. That pump handle half Nelson driver has won Kevin Wonderman a lot of matches in the past, and tonight was no different. As now Dawkins trying to get this crowd pumped up. And uh oh, Mir looks to be taking issue with that. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we might have a problem. I think Amir is backing off. Alistair Amir has nothing to be ashamed of. It was an impressive debut. And wait, oh, come on. Alistair Amir running Adrian Dawkins over with that boot. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Alistair Amir is going to take his frustrations out on Adrian Dawkins. Who did absolutely nothing to deserve this as he gets sent to the corner and met with the shoulder to the gut. And Amir with the belly to belly suplex. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't understand this anger from Alistair Amir. Adrian Dawkins was just merely having fun with the fans. Amir clearly upset that he lost this match to Kevin Wonderman. But Adrian Dawkins had absolutely nothing to do with that. Wasn't even involved in the decision. But Alistair Amir doesn't care as he hits Adrian Dawkins with the third falling power slam. Now what's Amir going to do? 
And what authority! Amir just hit Dawkins with a pop-up power slam. Laying Adrian Dawkins out in the middle of the ring. If this is only a preview of what we have to expect from Alistair Amir, we might be in for some frightening times in Danger Zone Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the Machine Gun, Josh Mason. And here he comes, representing the Devil's Advocates, the Machine Gun, Josh Mason. Ladies and gentlemen, I still can't get over what we just witnessed. Alistair Amir, for no reason, assaulting Adrian Dawkins. And you've got to believe that Adrian Dawkins' partner, Jason Cross, isn't happy about that one bit. Nonetheless, Josh Mason coming to the ring. Josh Mason looks unfazed as he prepares to go one-on-one -on -one with the Nightwolf. This is the first time that we're going to see Brandon Wolf's alter ego, the Nightwolf, in action. And if we go by what we've seen in shows like COH, Josh Mason might be in for a very tough test. And his opponent, Brandon Wolf. The arena goes dark as we await the emergence of the Night Wolf. And there he is, Brandon Wolf. Brandon Wolf, if it was up to him, would be getting a one on one match against AJ Young tonight. But Travis Killing's injury forced a reshuffling of the card. AJ Young's now in the main event against Kobe Vincent. And Brandon Wolf finds himself facing the machine gun, Josh Mason. And you have to believe that the Night Wolf is looking to send a message to AJ Young. Brandon Wolf emerging victorious in six man tag action on attitude with Jake Hyde and Michael Stone, the DZW tag team champions against the Supremacy. Speaking of the tag team champions, Jake Hyde and Michael Stone will be defending the tag team titles on Maximum Attitude against Sean and Syntax. These fans are enjoying every second of the Night Wolf. You can see the smoke. You can see the lighting. Brandon Wolf trying to strike fear into the machine gun ahead of this match. As the pass is shown, Brandon Wolf turns everything up a notch. He finds a new level in himself when he's a Night Wolf. But will that be the case against Josh Mason? Josh Mason, the machine gun, the night wolf. A referee rings the bell. We're underway. Mason doesn't know what to think, but goes right after the night wolf. And there's three big right hands. Has Wolf on the ropes. And now Brandon Wolf is fighting back against Josh Mason. And now Mason's on the ropes. Brandon Wolf finds a new fearlessness, a new intensity whenever he dons that body paint. As Josh Mason with an elbow, and Brandon Wolf responding with a huge clothesline. Brandon Wolf wasting no time against Josh Mason. And now Brandon Wolf just slapping the holy hell out of Josh Mason and following it up with a clothesline. Josh Mason looks like he doesn't even know what hit him. And that ends a gear. He definitely hit Josh Mason. The machine gun might be in over his head as Wolf is now pulling back on the legs of Josh Mason. Now Josh Mason finally getting some room to breathe as Josh Mason and Brandon Wolf are just teeing off and Josh Mason with a shot right to the throat. Wolf appears dazed. Josh Mason trying to take advantage while he has it. Brandon Wolf reversing. And there's another elbow sending Mason to the ropes once again. 
Brandon Wolf ducking under, leaping over, and Brandon Wolf with an arm drag. Now the Night Wolf is going to fly high. Springboard 450. And the quickness at which the Night Wolf ascends, connecting with that moon stomp to the machine gun. Brandon Wolf has the machine gun up, and there's a fireman's carry neck breaker. Brandon Wolf wasting little time with Josh Mason. And this one in the match on Attitude, small package driver. One, two, and three. The Night Wolf dominating this match. Your winner of this bout by way of pinfall, Brandon Wolf. The Night Wolf emerged here on Exclusive, and it paid absolute dividends for Brandon Wolf as he dominated. Most of this match, Josh Mason tried to fight valiantly, but he was no match for the Night Wolf. Brandon Wolf sending a message to AJ Young. But right now, here's our exclusive main event. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is our exclusive main event. Introducing first, the heavy hitter, Mason Chronic. And here comes Mason Chronic, the foul mouth, heavy hitting, hard punching veteran of call wrestling and he's out here looking for revenge Jeffrey Albritton and oh my goodness Jeffrey Albritton hit Mason Chronic with a cutter all the way off the top of the ladder in the race of the top ladder match at DZW call All stars and you've got to believe that vengeance is on Mason Chronic's mind Mason Chronic well accomplished in call wrestling, he has a golden ticket to face Caleb Blair for the COH Championship at Ultimate Glory. He's the current AWF Extreme Champion. And he's here in DZW to accomplish more things, more championship gold. And add some more accolades to his very impressive call career. And his opponent, the Black Sun, Jeffrey Albritton. The Black Sun, Jeffrey Albritton, put his body on the line to deliver what might have been the highlight of that race to the top ladder match. But tonight he has to answer to the man that he hit that cutter on, Mason Chronic. This contest is Mason Chronic and Jeffrey Albritton's first one-on-one -on -one match in DZW and despite not winning the race of the top ladder match both men along with Ben Hopkins were signed to contracts much to the chagrin of the race of the top winner Kevin Wonderman but let's see what both of these men can do here tonight all Britain walking confidently can the Black Sun pull off the victory against Mason Cronin Referee rings a bell. We are underway. Paul Britton wants to win this matchup. He has to overcome the veteran instincts of Mason Chronic. As Chronic now has Jeffrey Albritton down to a knee. Now Albritton has Mason Chronic by the arm, has him in an arm bar. Can Mason Chronic get out? And Chronic, there's that veteran presence, there's that veteran instinct, that veteran experience. Coming to Mason Chronic's advantage. And Albrecht with a cheap shot to Mason Chronic as the referee was trying to break that up. And the last thing you want to do is anger Mason Chronic. Chronic with the big right hand proving my point. Trying to make Albrecht pay for that cheap shot. As Chronic smashes the knee of the Black Sun into the mat. And Chronic with a big boot to Jeffrey Albritton. Using Albritton's own momentum against him after being sent into the ropes. 
Will Chronic win and Albright kicking out right before the count of three. You can see Mason arguing with the referee. Albritton has Chronic stunned on the ropes. Albritton, suplex, neck breaker. The Black Sun might have this match won. Going for the cover on Chronic, and Chronic kicking out at one. Albritton knocking Chronic to one knee and blasting him in the face with a Shining Wizard. Shining Wizard to Mason Chronic. I'm surprised he didn't try to go for a pinfall attempt there. He might have knocked Mason Chronic's daylights out. Now Albritton going for the pin. Two. And the heavy hitter kicks out at two. The Black Sun seems to be in control of this match as Chronic is backed into a corner. Albritton with some stiff chops. Now Chronic cut off from the rest of the ring. Has nowhere to move. Now Jeffrey Albritton knocking Mason Chronic to the outside with a springboard drop kick. Now the referee counting Chronic out. Albritton playing to the crowd, but he doesn't even realize that Chronic is back in the ring. And he, oh, I'm about to say he realizes it now, but Jeffrey Albritton might have been playing possum there. Now Jeffrey Albritton trying to engage hand to hand with Chronic and blast him with that Enzo Giri. Going for the pin on Chronic, two. And Chronic gets the shoulder up. I thought Chronic might have had his daylights knocked out by the ends of Geary. Chronic with the jawbreaker and blasting Jeffrey Albritton with a big boot. Uh oh, this doesn't look good for Jeffrey Albritton. Wheelbarrow face buster. Driving Jeffrey Albritton right into the mat. Chronic now sending the Black Sun into the corner. There's a shoulder block. Chronic turning up the tempo a little bit against the Black Sun. And all Chronic has him up belly to belly. Now Mason Chronic going for the cover. Will that belly to belly win him this match? One, two, and Jeffrey Albritton got his foot on the bottom rope. Jeffrey Albritton managed to get his foot on the bottom rope, saving this match. And Albritton with a Pele kick. Chronic's taking a lot of kicks to the face in this match. How many more will it take as Jeffrey Albritton goes to the top rope, diving elbow. Will the Black Sun win? And no, Chronic out at two. Now Jeffrey Albritton, is he thinking suplex? A Chronic with the knee. Chronic with the knee, and there's another boot. And oh, oh, he's Chronic going airborne, and there's a senton. Senton from Chronic, and I think he's going to try to make Jeffrey Albritton tap out. And oh my goodness, Chronic has Jeffrey Albritton trapped by the leg. Will the Black Sun tap out to Mason Chronic? Referee asking Jeffrey Albritton, will Albritton be able to withstand this? And Albritton using his other leg to get out of that submission attempt. Good awareness on the part of Albritton as he hits an elbow on Chronic. And all oh, blasting Mason Chronic with another kick. One, two, and Chronic again out at two, and Jeffrey Albritton is in disbelief. Mason Chronic might have a concussion, but he is still in this match. As the Black Sun trying to end this, but going for another Enzigiri. 
And Chronic with the big right hand. Chronic sends the Black Sun into the corner. And now places All Britain on the top rope. All Britain's in the danger zone. Chronic has him up and down with another belly to belly suplex. What a move from Mason Chronic as All Britain is motionless. Chronic looking to do more damage. Has him up. Sit down, Spine Buster. Going for the cover on Jeffrey Albritton. Two. And Albritton somehow, some way kicked out. And Albritton is still fighting back. Albritton looking to strike again. Mason Chronic hits him with a jawbreaker. And Chronic, wait a minute. Go for the submission. He has Jeffrey Albritton trapped in the crossface. Crossface is Jeffrey Albritton. Will the Black Sun tap out? Mason Chronic has that crossface locked in. Jeffrey Albritton trying to crawl to the ropes. And Jeffrey Albritton is forced to tap. Mason Chronic has won this match. Your winner of this bout by way of crossface submission. Mason Chronic. I'll give the Black Sun credit. He kicked out of some very impactful moves. But Chronic sensed what he had to do. He had to make Jeffrey Albritton tap out, putting him in that cross face. And Mason Chronic picked up an impressive win here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on Exclusive. I am Anton Princeton signing out. I'll see you for Maximum Attitude.